Is the iPhone 14 about to be canceled? No. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Couldn't have said it better myself. But while the iPhone 14 is safe for now, what about these other Apple products launching very soon that might just totally replace your iPhone altogether? In this video, let's break down some of Apple's top secret products that are going to eventually replace the iPhone. These projects have been in the works for years and years and are finally going to launch very soon. It might be time to say goodbye to your iPhone and say hello to the future that's coming a lot sooner than you may think. Get ready because Everything is about to change. Now, before you comment down below, no, I am not looking to bash the iPhone 14 in this video and tell you why you shouldn't buy it. In fact, I kind of want to do the opposite because the iPhone 14, by all accounts, is going to be one amazing upgrade and one of the biggest upgrades we've seen in many, many years. Of course, we've got some small updates in the past few years, the 10s to the 11, the 11 to the 12, the 12 to the 13, all good models and all good years. But by all accounts, the iPhone 14 is going to be one of those bigger years that's Sort of shifts the smartphone industry forever. Think iPhone 3GS to iPhone 4, the 7 to the 10, the 12 to the 13's got nothing on what's going to happen between the 13 and the 14. And speaking of the iPhone 4, one of the biggest changes coming to the iPhone 14 is the design itself, very heavily inspired by that 2010 design of Apple's iPhone 4. Think industrial design, boxy edges, squared off corners, circular volume buttons, even that speaker mesh on the bottom near the lightning port. This is a design very much paying homage to the iPhone 4, and it's sort of like the iPhone 4 design reintroduced and remodernized for 2022. And if it looks anything like these renders, it is going to look fantastic and it's going to be one of the best looking phones of the year. And besides just the change to sort of the design and the body of the iPhone 14, another huge change is coming on front with that iconic notch. Since the iPhone 10, we've had that rectangular cutout on the front of the display that has housed the Face ID technology, the True Depth sensor, all that stuff. But that is going to change next year with the iPhone 14. According to leaks and rumors from multiple sources, at least one iPhone 14 model will not have a notch. Instead, getting rid of the notch, moving a lot of the Face ID components under the display, and giving us just a small little hole punch cutout near the top of the screen. Is it better than the notch? Is it worse than the notch? Let me know your thoughts down below, but at least uh, on some models of the iPhone 14, the notch is finally getting out of here. The inside of the iPhone 14 is also expected to get some pretty significant upgrades. We could see a vapor chamber cooling system with the A16 Bionic, a 48 megapixel main camera capable of 8K video recording, a new periscope zoom lens technology for the telephoto lens, and also something we haven't seen before, a totally new iPhone model that gives us something all new. Now, the last time Apple gave us an all new iPhone model and size was with the 12 mini back in 2020. And for one reason or another, or for multiple reasons, it doesn't look like the mini iPhone is sticking around. There was the 12 mini and the 13 mini, but there will not be an iPhone 14 mini. There will be four iPhone 14 models and the lineup is gonna look a little something like this. There's gonna be a 6.1 inch iPhone 14, a 6.1 inch iPhone 14 Pro, a 6.7 inch iPhone 14 Pro Max, and a 6.7 inch iPhone 14 Max. So yes, there will be two smaller phones and two bigger phones, one regular and one pro for both sizes. So if you are a fan of sort of the largest screen iPhone possible, but you don't need all the bells and whistles of the triple camera setup, you don't need ProMotion and all that stuff, and you're looking to save some money, the iPhone 14 Max might just be the perfect phone for you coming very soon in 2022. Okay, so if these rumors are at least partially true and the iPhone 14 is getting so much love and attention from Apple next year, then what are these products that could possibly eliminate the iPhone lineup entirely and make Apple switch to something totally new? Well, there are three products that are going to change the iPhone's history and sort of the iPhone's future forever. And the first one is actually air power. Now, some of you out there might remember this iconic moment back in 2017. Let me know in the comments down below if you remember this wonderful Phil Schiller moment that showed off this magical charging pad that you could place the iPhone the Apple Watch, AirPods, anywhere on this pad, and they would wirelessly charge just like magic. It seemed impossible, it seemed undoable, but Phil Schiller and Apple assured us it was possible, and they were going to do it. And for one reason or another, 
Apple decided to eventually kill the AirPower project quietly and never actually release that product. In fact, out of all the sort of modern Apple presentations and events of the last four, five, or six years, the iPhone 10 keynote is the only one that I cannot find on Apple's official YouTube channel. Maybe this was for copyright reasons, maybe this was for some other reason, but maybe Apple decided to sort of hide this video because they didn't want those who were looking to find more information on the air power that never actually came to be. Maybe it's just sort of a weird conspiracy theory, but just something I thought was a little odd. Nevertheless though, although the original concept of air power might have met its demise, the actual sort of magical idea of air power, this really cool wireless charging technology, still lives on even today inside of those secretive labs in Cupertino. And according to Mark Gurman over at Bloomberg, Apple is still continuing to research and develop multiple types of really futuristic sounding wireless charging technology that will totally change the way you use your future iPhone and other Apple devices. According to the report, Apple is testing multiple methods of short and long distance wireless charging technologies. This could be like putting your iPhone on some kind of air power like pad or reverse wireless charging AirPods or uh, Apple Watch off of the back of your iPhone. Or if we're talking longer distances, maybe this is the idea of you walking into a special room and your phone just charging automatically. It sounds like the work of fiction and like it's some kind of sci-fi technology, but it might just become more more reality uh, than we might have originally thought if Apple can actually make it happen. They're working on it, so let's see if it actually becomes, well, real. Now, while AirPower might change the way you use your iPhone, these next two products will totally change the iPhone forever and might just cause many of you to ditch the phone completely. That is, of course, because Apple is going to introduce two new revolutionary groundbreaking products. That is the mixed reality AR VR headset and the long awaited, long rumored Apple glasses. Now to keep it brief, these are two products that we need to sort of talk about separately. One is this mixed reality Oculus Quest looking AR VR headset. That's a little more expensive and a little bit more rough around the edges, more for the enthusiasts than the mass market. And the other is really made for consumers. It's made for everyone. It's more affordable. It's sleek and simple and maybe it looks a little something like this where you have little uh, gesture pad areas and little cameras built in for your super sleek futuristic Apple glasses come in in maybe 2025. But what's supposed to be coming much sooner is this Apple mixed reality headset. Again, it looks like an Oculus Quest. It's filled with two high resolution AK displays, lots of cameras and sensors, eye tracking technology, and according to rumors, an Apple silicon chip inside that is more powerful than the M1 chip in the iPad Pro and some Mac models. This is going to be one of those revolutionary products that should change everything. Like the iPod changed MP3 players, like the iPhone changed phones, the iPod iPad change tablets, you sort of get the idea. According to those familiar with the project, analysts and others in the rumor mill, this is gonna be one of those groundbreaking products that changes everything. And once Apple finally releases this mixed reality headset, the tech world and your phone is never gonna be the same again. Now the details on this are still a little murky. We've heard some talk of components and what it can do, what it can't do. It's gonna have an app store, all this stuff. Um, but a lot of the details, again, are still unclear. But what we are hearing from multiple sources is that this mixed reality headset should be launching in 2022. So this is actually coming sooner than later and will finally become reality. Apple has been working very hard on this. They've sort of been laying the groundwork on this for years and years. And right now we know this reality headset is not gonna be very cheap, probably around or north of $2,000. So the future is not gonna be inexpensive, but if you've been sort of waiting to try Apple's next big thing, this should be coming really really soon, maybe in just a matter of months, maybe as soon as WWDC. And then of course, after the headset gets into the hands of consumers and developers and people really sort of get to experience Apple's idea for this future, that's when we move on to the next thing. These are the Apple glasses. And if they look anything like these concept videos, it is going to be absolutely amazing. You sort of have this digital information overlaid in your real world. You can see weather, you can see stocks, all this stuff looks super cool. And again, this is the more affordable, more mass market solution that might just totally replace the iPhone. This will be untethered, so you don't have to have an iPhone. You can do basically everything you'd wanna do on your iPhone on these glasses. The future is still a little unclear and it doesn't really seem apparent as to uh, sort of every change this is going to bring with it. Um, but this should be one of, again, those paradigm shifting moments that changes everything and should sort of eliminate the iPhone and really change Apple's direction from the iPhone to smart glasses, at least 
according to analysts. And last but certainly not least, another product that might just change the iPhone forever, at least how you think of the iPhone, is a folding iPhone. Now we've heard rumors that Apple is working on this folding iPhone that's gonna give us this cutting edge technology. It's a smaller iPhone that opens up to this larger display. And we had heard rumors that it was in sort of various stages of development and we could see it in 2023, or at least as early as 2023. But what if Apple decided to change things even more? What if they sort of experimented with different form factors and instead sort of merged the iPhone and the iPad lines together and gave us something that was like as small as the iPad mini that opened up to like the size of a 12.9 inch iPad Pro? Or what if they gave us a super small phone that was compact that opened up to the size of an iPad mini? There's definitely a case to be made that different form factors could totally uh, radically change the iPhone and sort of breathe some new life into sort of the same glass slab we've had for years and years. That would sort of be a cool way to experiment with new styles of iPhone and really sort of change the way we think of smartphones. Samsung is doing it, other companies are doing it, and I think it's only a matter of time until we see an iPhone that either flips or folds or is at least some kind of a new um, form than just what we've had for the last couple of years. But I'm curious, what are your guys' thoughts on the future of the iPhone? And I guess more importantly, what are your thoughts on this Apple mixed reality headset and these Apple glasses? Will this be the work of science fiction and totally change our lives and no longer do we have phones in our hands, but we have glasses on our heads? Or do you think that this is more of an accessory and something that's going to take much longer to sort of change our lives uh, than uh, some might like to think it will be? Let me know your thoughts down below on this stuff. Are you gonna pick up an Apple mixed reality headset? Are you ready for Apple Glass? Or are you just uh, gonna stick with your iPhone and wait it out and see uh, what uh, bugs and stuff will be worked out before you decide to hop on the bandwagon and get a little taste of the future. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know in the comments um, and we can uh, discuss. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle and I will see you all in the next one.